Hey guys, Jason with JW Classic VW and back at you again. And I've covered this once before in one of my other videos, but I want to go ahead and cover it again here since I'm, I'm at this point with my engine. I'm going to go ahead and check that compression ratio and I'm going to be using that CV Performance compression ratio calculator that they have on their website. So if you're interested in figuring out how to do that, there's going to be a great video for you. So stay tuned. Oh, by the way, happy 4th of July, guys. Right here is broken down exactly how it is in the calculator. So stay tuned. Here we go. All right, guys, as you can see here, I've got my uh, tool installed already. I've got, you know, in the intro, you went ahead and saw me putting the studs in and the, the pistons in, uh, pistons for one and two. I say specific on uh, which, which uh, piston belongs to which location on the engine. The, uh, let me show you real quick, the mounting surface that, we, that I worked on. It is super flush. Looks really good. Once I seal it up, I think we'll be perfect. Bring it back around. So what I'm going to be doing here is I check both sides of the piston with my, my caliber to see where the uh, the deck height actually is. I just picked up one of these. This actually is from Home Depot, so you can get them probably almost anywhere. And I just go to the corners and see where I'm at. So I take the, the height from the top down to the top of the piston, and then I subtract the actual width of the tool. And that's how I get my, my deck height. People use this little screw, but I, I found that this was just a little bit easier and sometimes a little bit more accurate. And there's, there's probably a, a bunch of different ways to do this, guys. This is just the way that I found works easiest for me. So I've got 1160. I think I remember that's what it was. 1160. Put that on the board. 1160 millimeters. It's a lot easier to work in millimeters when it comes to subtracting this stuff. 1310. All right, guys. I've got uh, number one figured out. I'm going to move on to number two. Once I finish all the way around, I'll go ahead and let you know what the uh, final compression ratio is. So once again, to figure out your compression ratio, all you need to know is your your stroke. You know how uh, how uh, big is your crank? So mine's an 82 millimeter scat crank. You need to know your your bore, which is your piston size. Mine are 94s, which gives this it makes this a 2276. You also need to know your your actual 
cylinder inside of your inside of your head you need to know this area here that's the combustion chamber the combustion chamber cc and there's a tool for that so once you have that those items and the deck height you can calculate compression ratio using the tool on at the uh, cb performance website so we're going to move on to number two and then three and four and i'm going to go ahead and make this time lapse so that i can go ahead and just uh, get by all this and not have to bore the crap out of you guys so moving on time lapse engaged <music> All right, guys, we're all finished up. This is Jason again. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we ended up with on our uh, deck height, 1.7 millimeters, 1.8 millimeters, 1.9 millimeters, 1.6 millimeters. They're all within one millimeter, well, well, one to two millimeters of each other. So that's one through four uh, cylinders, pistons, pistons and cylinders. <laughs> I got to make sure that I'm uh, using the right terminology, right? The um, overall compression ratio on one is 9.6 to 1, 2, 9.6 to 1, 3, 9.5 to 1, and 4, 9.7 to 1. So they're all relatively close when it comes to compression ratio. It's a bit of a bump from my, I was around 8.1 to 1 on my compression ratio before. So it's going to bump us up a little bit closer to uh, closer to 10 to 1, and that's pretty cool. The uh, added bit of power this engine can handle, no problem. I've already talked to a few people about it, and... They said that, that, uh, that it should be no big deal. Next thing to do is I'm going to go ahead and dismantle the engine. I'm going to go ahead and crack that case open and clean it out really good before I put it back together again. You guys really thought I wasn't going to do it, did you? I bet you did. I'm going to go ahead and crack it apart. I've got the 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 uh, Purell sealer that I use. I use Purell. Some people use uh, Yama Bond, Yama Bond, Curiel. They're both pretty good. And um, or Purell T. I don't know. It's uh, it's uh, used overseas, but um, BMW stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and take apart the engine. Uh, I the pickup tube for the uh, for the oil sump. I've wanted to weld that. It's just kind of like up in there and clamped right now. 
So I'm going to go ahead and weld the pickup on the, uh, on the oil, oil slum pickup. And uh, there's a few other things I wanted to take care of as well. So I'll be doing that. And uh, I don't think I'll be filming that part of it, but I might, I might film some of it. As for this video, I hope it helps you guys out for trying to figure out compression ratio using that calculator at CB Performance. If you have any questions, comment below. As always, check out the description area because I have a lot of other great YouTubers that are Volkswagen specific down there. And any kind of uh, tools I use, I'll put down in the description as well if you guys are interested in picking one of those up. Disclaimer, anytime I put anything down in there that's tool-wise or, or material-wise, I use Amazon. I'm an Amazon affiliate, so if you go ahead and click on that and buy it, I get a little bit of a kickback, which helps me out on my channel, get new video gear and stuff like that, guys, or new tools, right? So once again, thank you for all my subscribers. This is Jason with JW Classic VW, and we're out, guys. See you next time. Bye. Oh, da -ba -da -ba 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 -ba.